<laughs> nice smile, Ben. I am at the Children's Hospital with my son, Benjamin. Say hi, Ben. Hi, Dad. Say hi. Hi. Can you wave? I, he just had some verse then, so he's a little bit sleepy. Um, there you are. We are here um, today for an echocardiogram and then um, a blood draw and, and a doctor's appointment. So a busy day should take about three or four hours. But I want to share with you a day in the life of a child with complex medical conditions. Um, Ben had to get up this morning, couldn't eat breakfast. Um, he can't eat because he might need to be sedated um, for the echocardiogram if he can't hold still enough. And um, right now, um, we're trying to give him bursa. We have a fabulous nurse who is helping us um, try to figure out the best way to get Ben through this with the littlest possible medication. Um, ben has Down syndrome and autism, so uh, for him, uh, doing something like a medical procedure can be a little bit more nerve-wracking than it can for a child who's cog like neurotypical um, your average kid on the street without any cognitive impairments or autistic impairments um, when we come to the hospital with Ben we bring his iPad can you show him your iPad where's your iPad because iPad whoop, there's iPad there's Ben's iPad iPad is a fabulous distraction um, hook up to the hospital Wi-Fi and he can just chill as much as he wants with that but the other favorite thing that we have is Ben's doctor cat and um, you know we try to give him get him distracted with that and it really helps him to cope to have his doctor kit but um, these days are really frequent for us this is you know something we've done half a million times before it feels like um, we came down to the sedation unit this morning and we see nurse Anna and we see um, Craig the tech and people that we have known for years we have come for sedation services um, oh I would say probably over 50 times he's been sedated for medical procedures so this is kind of a day in the life of a child with medical issues. Um, this is something that we do on a very regular basis, and I think it's good awareness. So, uh, if you uh, ever want to know what it's like to be down here, um, I'm going to be taking some more pictures and hopefully get it up on a blog post. Ben, can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye.